through some of the important information you need to know about the conference so that your rest of the two days is more meaningful. How many people here know me? Okay. So for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Naresh Jain. Uh, I started the Agile movement here in India back in 2004. We've been running conferences for over 10 years now. And I've uh, been part of uh, the Agile Software Community of India running these conferences. This is pictures from the last conference that we finished in uh, February in Bangalore. I'm going to quickly run through some of the pictures. What do you think these guys are doing at the conference? What's the feeling they have at the conference when they're at the conference? What do you see people doing? They're having fun. So safety is important, but having fun is even more important. I think uh, one of the most important things about the conference to me is having fun, learning, and networking. Right? Those three things is why we come to conferences and then we leave motivated to go back to work and do a little bit things differently. Right? Small little improvement. So that's what I hope you will leave the conference thinking and go back doing that. Let's uh, quickly do a small activity. This is typically we always do this just to get you started, uh, start networking, right? We want you to start networking. So we start the conference with a little bit of activity which will get you started, which will get you one step on it so that you can then continue to the rest of the conference. So what I want to do is I want you to stand up, please. And then you're going to form group which contains nine people with one role each. So you need to find a person who plays one of those roles and you need to form a group of nine people who will have all of these roles, right? Try and find people from different companies, people you don't know. So you will make nine friends or eight friends at the end of this session, right? And whichever team completes first, put up your hands. I have a little prize for you and we'll give it away, all right? So your time starts now. Crowd. What role? What role do you need? Developer. Okay, then we have a winner. Why don't you guys come over? Let's verify if that's true. <laughs> so, startup founder, come over. The group, come over here. So startup founder, put up your hand. Okay. CTO. Okay. <laughs> Manager. A developer. Tester. Architect. Conference speaker. Person wearing black. Non-resident Indian. <laughs> All right, so you guys get a little price. Nine of us, right? There you go. Everyone's got it. Okay. Thank you. Don't worry if they just got the prizes, but you guys got eight friends as well, right? So please take your seats back. Was it hard to find people? Yes, it is. It is. It's hard to identify their roles. 
And that's the first trick to networking, right? How do you get started? Because you need to connect and people don't wear boards and walk around. So we need to connect with people and we need to find interesting ways to do that. But hopefully you have two days to experiment, right? It's a safe environment. You can talk to people. People are very happy to talk to you, share their experience, want to know your experience. So please do that the rest of the conference. Who's in the room? We have, uh, last when I checked, we had 183 people registered for this conference. Uh, this is the lowest we've ever had, which is unfortunate. But this is, in the 10 years, this is the smallest conference we've had ever. Right? It's unfortunate, but what is really important is the people who are here. Right? Quality is more important than quantity. We don't care so much about having 1,000 people here. We care about having you guys who are really interested to be here. So thank you for being here. Right? We have people from seven countries over here, which is good, because we get to share different perspectives, learn from different people. Uh, we'll do one more quick activity. I want everyone to stand up where you are. No moving around this time, I promise. I want everyone who has traveled more than 10 kilometers to come to this conference to keep standing, and the rest of you, please sit down. More than 10 kilometers, stand up. Rest, sit down. More than 50 kilometers. More than 100 kilometers. All right? More than 500 kilometers. 1,000. <laughs> 5,000. <laughs> so we have uh, people from Russia. Where are you, sir, from? Chicago. Chicago. Germany. Germany. Finland. Finland. US. Those are all sitting. <laughs> and US. All right, thank you guys for traveling all the way to the conference. <laughs> Let's quickly look at what the program looks like. We're done with the keynote, right? There's the keynote. And we right now in the welcome address, we're going to have a quick coffee break. And then we're going to split into three tracks. That's track number one. Right? That you see there, this is the divider that's going to be pulled up. And that's going to become track one. This is going to be track two. That's going to be track three. Right? So ballroom one over there. So next we have agility at scale. Then we have applying uh, gamification techniques here. And then Linda's workshop over there on, uh, sorry, uh, in the third one, which is the power of retrospection. And then we continue, uh, you know, pretty much all, if you see, all of these sessions are 45 minutes long. And there's a 15 minute break after each of the sessions so that you have enough time to move between the rooms. And if the speakers spill over a little bit, we can, you know, keep that buffer in. So this 45 minute session and then 15 minutes. Uh, it's your responsibility to make sure the speaker finishes on time. I'm serious, right? Because we want this program to start on time and end on time. We don't want to keep the bad Indian timing reputation, right? We want to, we want to run as per the clock. We want to keep the time. So if you see the speaker is 45 minutes in and the time is up, you just need to stand up and thank the speaker and leave. That will keep everyone moving at the same time, all right? It's not rude because that's been told to the speakers. They know that they have 45 minutes and they need to finish. Sometimes we can give a few minutes buffer, but you know, if, this, if you see the speaker is not going to finish in the next half an hour, which does happen sometimes, then you need to just stand up, thank the speaker, and leave. How many people will support me with that? Excellent, thank you, because it will help all of us you know, stay on time, all right? So that's still the lunch, and then post lunch we have a few more sessions. We have uh, some lightning talks. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, we have a keynote uh, to end the day, and then we have a panel as well. And then there is dinner here, and we're going to uh, run till 10, 10:30 till people drop dead. Right? 
Uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing an Agile Coach Camp. So uh, Agile Coach Camp is a place where, uh, so Deborah Hartman and I started the Agile Coach Camp in 2007. Uh, the idea was that we would go to a lot of conferences and we would mostly hang out because we didn't find anything interesting in the sessions. It's the same old uh, things that speakers are speaking over and over again. So you know, this was the case in some of the conferences. I'm not saying all conferences. But some conferences, we felt that we are not really pushing the envelope. We are not really talking about certain hard problems that we have. And it's not possible for a conference to cover every topic everyone wants to do. So the open space format, which is the coach camp, is an idea where people can go, put up topics. Uh, a group of people who are interested in the topics will gather around. It's a little bit more structured, but it's very free-flowing. And you get to you know, talk your topic, get to listen to other people. It's not a one-way conversation. It is a group discussion. It's a group brainstorming. It's a group activity. All right. So tomorrow we have uh, Agile Coach Camp, which will be in track two. Uh, this is actually the picture from the very first Coach Camp that uh, me and Deborah Hartman ran. Uh, you can see some really interesting big names in there. Uh, we have lightning talks, uh, which is going to happen in track two, uh, post lunch. And the idea with lightning talks is we have a lot of good people who have bright, bright ideas, but we could not get them on the program. So we give five minutes, and each person gets five minutes to come and you know, present their topic. This is typically one way. It's a pretty fast five minutes. You know, deliver whatever you have as lightning, and then you can discuss post that. So, the idea to do the lightning talk today is it's going to generate some ideas which can then be carried over into the coach camp tomorrow. All right? So I think we have a volunteer who's going to be running the uh, lightning talk. And you know, just show up over there if you have something to share. And then we'll just form a queue, and people will get five minutes to present each. Right? It's a very unstructured, free-flowing, five minutes per person kind of a thing. The most important thing, and I think we started doing this back in 2004, 2005, and people said I was insane. The law of two feet, this actually comes from uh, you know, open spaces, but the law of two feet, how many people are aware of the law of two feet? Some people who've attended the uh, open spaces or Agile India conferences before. One of the things we tell people is you are investing two days of your valuable time here. It's very important, right? And sometimes you might go into a session, you might have some expectation, but the speaker might not, you know, might be talking on slightly different topics, or it might not exactly match what you were looking for. Those things can happen, right? So don't sit there and curse yourself for choosing that topic. That's the worst thing you can do, right? Don't sit there and just curse yourself for choosing a topic that didn't add value to you. Please get up. Use your two feet. That's the law of two feet. Please use your two feet and take yourself to a place where you can either contribute value or get value. Right? So at the end of the day, if you come back saying, you know what, I just wasted the entire day. I didn't learn anything. Too bad. Right? Because you didn't exercise the law of two feet. We've, we've done this before, and people are not sure. They feel it's rude to get up and walk away. It's disrespectful. No, it's not. Because your time is extremely valuable, and you need to find a session where you will get value. If you don't find any session where you, don't, you are not getting value, you, there are three sessions running. Hopefully, you will find one of them you know, that suits your need. If you don't find anything, what do you do? There is space. There is a big open space outside, right? Just go out there, hang out. There will be other people who have similar thoughts, right? So it will be good to meet up with people. It's not the end of the world, right? So please use the law of two feet. All speakers know that it is not disrespectful to stand up. But just make sure you don't disturb everyone when you leave, right? Don't pass comments when you leave out. Oh, gosh, stupid, right? <laughs> so be respectful. Uh, that's important, but you know, take your uh, law of two feet, use your law of two feet, and find yourself a place where you will add value or contribute value, or uh, get value. All right? I'm pretty much done. Uh, does everyone have the Wi-Fi password? I'll give a minute to write it down. You can take a picture. All caps. 
thing we have at some tables, they have left those things, but it's just easier to put it up here. All right, we got that down. Uh, quickly, I'd like to thank the team that has helped us put this conference together. These are the people who've been working on this conference for pl six plus months trying to put the co uh, program together. We had, I think, 128 submissions that came in, and we have to go through each submission, review the submission, talk to the speakers, review what they have done. So there is a fairly rigorous process that we go through over six months to find the speakers that we have uh, selected over here. Right, so it's a pretty rigorous process, and this team is uh, who's helped us uh, put this program together. So if you find them here at the conference, you'll see some of them, not everyone. Uh, I know Dhaval was here. I know Anand is here. Are you guys here? Anand is there. Dhaval might be busy doing the registration outside. So this is an all-volunteer-run conference. So it's all a bunch of people volunteering from different companies trying to put this conference together. So if you see them, please do thank them for helping us put this conference together. Uh, I do like to thank uh, these three organizations which supported us with this conference. Uh, you know, almost a month ago, we had maybe 100 registrations. And we said, wow, this is, this is strange. We've never had that. We announce conferences, and they get sold out. Uh, but maybe we we missed certain things. We didn't do certain things. We t we then tied up with these three organizations, and they helped us uh, do some uh, spreading the word of uh, mouth uh, in in Pune. So please do thank these three organizations if you find them here. I know one gentleman is here from the uh, Pune Open Coffee Club. So thank you for helping us. When you did the sign up, you all filled in the t-shirt. So a bunch of people asked, where is the t-shirt? You asked us the t-shirt size. Well, I'm sorry, we don't have t-shirts. Uh, we didn't get any funds to be able to provide the t-shirts, so we will not be able to do t-shirts. But hopefully in the next conference, we will you know, give you two t-shirts. <laughs> As I said, this is a non-profit, volunteer-run conferences. We just try to make sure whatever money we get in, we try and balance that out. So there are certain things we do try to cut out to just balance it out. Uh, you've all got, uh, oh, my badge is left, uh, but you all got those badges in which you have three little coupons, right? We need those coupons when you go for lunch, so you give the coupon and then you can uh, have lunch. That will help us keep the count of how many people uh, had lunch, and then the hotel would charge us based on that, all right? So please keep those coupons and bring them tomorrow as well, because you will need those coupons. There's one lunch coupon for tomorrow as well, all right? We have a reception dinner tonight, which is going to be in the same place, uh, 7.30 onwards. So that there's a coupon for that as well. OK? And that's pretty much it. I'm going to shut up now. And I'll let you guys have a quick coffee break. And then we'll get started in another eight minutes. All right? Thank you again. <laughs>